Oh, oh. Now we're going to touch on the Torah reading and custom. Some of the Torah readings and customs. Now, after the Hakafot, Hakafot is plural for circuits. The circuits that are taken around the ark, the tabot, carrying the Torah scrolls or the metha for us, carrying the metha kedus, carrying the holy scriptures. Now, after these hakafot or circuits and the dancing, there are three scrolls of the Torah are read. Three scrolls of the Torah. The last part of Shah of the Torah, which is known as Vezot HaBaraka, or Yeh Barak Kabat Barakat Yehichnat, which is the 54th portion, and you'll find it on page 7 of our Sabbath house readings. At the end of Deuteronomy chapters 33 and 1 to 34 and 12, this is read from the first scroll, followed immediately with the Yawunu by the first chapter or part of the second of the book of Genesis or the book of Berashit or Berashit Bamarinya. We know this book as Orit Ze Sitret or in the Gut is Orit Ze Lidet. The difference is the Torah of creation, Ze Sitret, and the Torah of birth. Zelidet is read, which is read from the second scroll. Now, it is a special honor, a special kubr, a special kubr to receive to Kabbalah the last aliyah, the last rising up to read the scroll of the book of Deuteronomy or Rit Zedagan, or in the Hebrew, Devarim. The person receiving the Aliyah is called the Chatan Torah. The Chatan Torah means, in the Hebrew, the groom, the groom of the Torah, or the Kalat, the Kalat Torah, if she is a, if it's a female, because that means the bride of the Torah. Likewise, it is a special Kibr, a special honor to receive the first aliyah of the book of Genesis. That person is called the Chatan Barashit, or Barashit, the groom of Genesis, or the Kalat Barashit, the bride of Genesis. Now, in practice, and practice makes perfect, in, in a practice not accepted in over 98% of so-called Orthodox congregations, women receive these aliyot. The aliyot is the plural of the aliyah. In single gender tefillah or, or groups, prayer groups consisting only of women who pray together, excluding those prayers that require a minyan. A minyan is known as a quorum of men, and that quorum is usually ten men. And only men are called to the Torah in front of the whole congregation. Now, in many of the congregations, it is customary to call all the eligible members of the congregation or the members in good standing for an aliyah to rise up, to go up, to receive the scroll, the aliyah to the Torah on the Simchat Torah. In some of the machber, in some of the congregations, the first five aliyot are reread so that everyone has an opportunity to recite the Barakat or the blessing. To save time, some of the congregations call people up in groups. Others choose to hold a series of separate uh, minya, minyanim, minyanim, which is plural for the minyan, groups of men, for the Torah reading. Now, there's a, another custom or tradition, tradition, 
And this is to call all the children, lejoch, lejoch, or in traditional and in some of the modern Orthodox congregations, all of the boys, the wet atoch, to a special aliyah that is called kol ha-na'arim, kol ha-na'arim, kol or kul, which means all ha the na'arim, all of the children, lijoch hulu. In many of the congregations, a large um, talit is spread over the heads of all the children, like a large gabi is spread over the heads of the children as the barakat, the blessing over the Torah is pronounced. And for the congregation to bless the children by reciting in Hebrew or for us in the royal Amharic or even where possible in the Gittas, a verse from Yaakov's Barakat, from Jacob's blessing to Ephraim and Manasseh, to Ephraim and Manasseh, which is Genesis chapter 40. 8 and 16, or in some Bibles might be 49. May the angel who redeems me from all evil bless the children, and may my name be declared among them, and the names of my fathers, Abraham and Yisahak, and may they teem like fish for multitude upon the land. The blessing, the barakat of the children is omitted from the 1985 edition of the conservative Judaism's uh, Siddur Simma Shalom prayer book, but was reinstated in later versions of the Simma Shalom. Most of the conservative congregations, they still perform this. Now, after the portion of Genesis, is read. There's what's known as the Maftir, and the Maftir is Numbers chapter 29, verses 35 to Numbers chapter 30, verse 1. And this is read from a third and the third Torah scroll. Now, the passage, it describes the prescribed sacrifices performed for the holy day. Now, there is the Haftarah, which we call the Nabim or the prophetical um, reading, and this is the reading from the prophets. And this is the first section of the book of Yehoshua or Iyasu, better known as the book of Joshua. Now, these are some of the Torah readings and customs for the Simchat Torah. So stay tuned. One more, I think there's another part or so, and we're going to touch on some of the history of the Simchat Torah. So stay tuned. Shalom. Rastafari.